How to recover empty trash on Mac. Losing files by emptying the trash can be frustrating, especially if you didn't mean for it to happen. It's a scenario that almost everyone has encountered. You emptied the trash on your Mac only to realize moments later that an important file was in there. You're probably here because you lost a precious file the same way and you wanna know how to recover empty trash on the Mac. Well, we've got your back, but before we get to the solutions, make sure you've hit the subscribe button. Now, in today's video, it's all on how to recover accidentally empty trash on Mac. What happens when you empty trash? First, let's take a look at what actually happens when you empty the trash on Mac. Many people assume their files are gone for good, but this isn't always the case. When you empty the trash, the files are removed from your visible folders, but they still remain in your Mac storage. Instead, the space they occupied is now marked as free, which means it can be overwritten by new data. If you take quick action, there's still a good chance of recovering the files before the space is reused. So make sure to be fast with it. Part one, how to recover empty trash on Mac without software. Method one, using terminal. Now, if you're comfortable and familiar with the terminal, you may be able to recover some files through basic command line functions. For those of you who don't know about terminal, it's an app for advanced users that lets them communicate with the Mac operating system using command lines. However, do remember that this method requires some caution. Here's a simple command that you can try in order to locate the number of deleted files and select the specific one you need to retrieve. One, open terminal, found in the applications and utilities section. Two, type the following commands to look for hidden files in your system cd.trash, then click return. Now type is-al-forward slash dot trash. This will help view the contents of trash. Finally, type nv file name dot dot forward slash and click return again. Replace file name with the exact name of the files that you want to recover and retrieve. The terminal may show you the files current path if it's still cached or partially stored. Keep in mind that you have to be very careful with terminal commands. If you're inexperienced, it's safer to stick with recovery software or consulting a professional. Let's look at other methods that everyone can try out. Method two, use an external drive trash bin. When you delete files from an external drive, they usually go to a separate trash folder within the drive itself. Here's how you can access it. Connect your external drive to your Mac and open Finder. Enable hidden files by pressing Command plus Shift plus period. This shortcut will reveal all hidden files on your Mac and the connected drive. Locate the hidden trash folder in the external drive. This will usually be named Trashes or Trash. Open the folder and look for the file you wish to recover. Drag the file out of the trash folder and place it back on your Mac or external drive. Method three, using Time Machine. Now, before you head for more technical solutions, let's take a look at one of the simplest recovery methods, your backups. If you have a Mac Time Machine set up on your Mac, then you're in luck. Time Machines continuously back up your files, which means you might find the lost file there. If you don't have it set up, you'll first have to enable the Mac Time Machine by attaching an external hard drive and allowing any restructuring. You'll then see how Time Machine backs up your data in a smooth and recurring way without large intervals. Here's how you can access the Time Machine. Connect your external backup drive if needed. Open Time Machine from the menu bar or system preferences. Find the date when the file was last present and restore it. You can now click on restore and have all your important files back. Method four, using iCloud backup. Now, one of the most common backup solutions used is the iCloud drive backup. This is how to recover deleted files from empty trash on Mac using those tools. iCloud syncs and stores files from your trash separately, 
which means the file might still be there if you use iCloud Drive. You can check this by visiting iCloud.com and sign into the site. Now click on your account icon and select iCloud settings. Click the restore files option found in data recovery section. Navigate to the files you wish to recover and check them. You can restore all of these together by clicking select all. Finally, restore the files and get all your lost data. Remember, these methods may not work for everyone, but if you have a backup system in place, this can save you time and effort. Part two, how to recover empty trash on Mac with recovery. At times, simple backup systems and solutions don't pan out. If you wanna learn how to recover files from empty trash on Mac, you may have to go for a Mac data recovery program. You can use Recoverit Mac Files Recovery Software, which is a professional data recovery software. With this, you can recover files deleted accidentally, permanently, or even emptied from trash on Mac. We'll walk you through the entire process. First, install the Recoverit tool from the official website. Once that's done, go ahead and launch it. This is what you should see on your screen. With the Recoverit software, select the trash you've located. At first, you'll see this screen. Now, you can then click on the trash file and scan it. The data recovery software will start scanning the folder to restore your files. This will go on for a few minutes, so just sit tight. Now, you can then preview some items or folders. This will help you navigate and select the lost files you need to recover. Finally, click on the recover button in the bottom right corner and watch the files reappear in your Mac. Losing files by emptying the trash on your Mac can be super frustrating, especially when you realize you just lost a very important document. But as we've discussed, there are several ways that you can try out before giving up all hope. Now, you should be able to recover empty trash on Mac or accidentally deleted files. But if you're facing some troubles, we recommend reaching out to a professional data recovery service in your local area. And if you find these methods useful, try implementing a regular backup routine with Time Machine or iCloud to keep your files safe in the first place. And always remember that a data recovery software like Recoverit can be a lifesaver for all those hard to recover files. Um, before you go, consider subscribing to our channel for more useful Mac tips and tricks. Hit the like button if this little guide helped you today and don't forget to leave a comment and tell us what you think. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more technical and informative content.